Alright, so today we are definitely in a dimension that we normally don't see much on the Autocraft server here, and that's mainly because there's not much for us to really do uh, in this dimension, but I think we have a cool project that we would like to actually do today. Small side project, nothing too crazy, um, besides the actual storage we'll be making for this project. We're the only crazy sort of thing that we'll be doing today. But uh, you can probably already know what we're doing based off the thumbnail and the title and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, this is going to be our Endstone Quarry. Now, we never really have done one of these before. However, they're pretty straightforward. And I'm only doing this. I know you can just start the quarry back further. Uh, but I'm only doing this because I want to have this end gateway be in our storage system so we go right there and the storage system starts right there so i'm going to have to use these uh reway dupers uh to clear out all the space i need in front of this to position said uh storage as well as start the quarry so the main goal was to start the quarry like right behind here but if I want the storage, I kind of got to go like a little bit further, which is eaten into the instant we're going to be mining. But if we go up here. There's definitely plenty, especially when we get up to this area up there. There will be plenty for this quarry to eat, but we could be good for now. But yeah, using these down excel three way dupers, I don't think you really need to do the down excel ones for this because there's no end pillars here. However, I think it's overall just better because it'll guarantee that we won't blow the machine up being too close to the ground there uh, with all them down there. So, uh, yeah, going to be running these guys for probably definitely quite a bit now that I'm going to be doing that. So I probably should have ran it overnight, but well, but yeah, to start this is a bit weird. Uh, you got to place a redstone block in there and then break that. And then that starts the flying machine there. And the same thing over here. I just built this one up, so we're going to see if it works. I'm going to show that the schematic's really easy. So we should all be good. And then this one down excels the TNT so they can reach, I think, this is supposed to be at, uh, let's turn this on real quick. Is, there is a sign here that says, yeah, so this block should be at Y123. And I think it's at like 107 for me. So I think, you know, you got plenty of space to work with. I think my TNT actually explodes at like Y0. So definitely don't need to explode that low, even with Endstone. But there's no need for us to have it any higher because of that. Uh, but yeah, these two are going to be running across. You can see I already ran the first one up there and you can see how much it left over. So I kind of do need the second one just to guarantee we're going to clear everything. I don't think I'm going to need a third. I mean, if I do, you saw how quick those things get built. I'll have to go back to the main storage just to grab some of uh, more slime since that is basically running my supply dry at this point with just these two machines in my ender chest because I have a majority of stuff in my ender chest. That way I can need these without having to go back to main storage. But uh, yeah, these things will be going. I definitely positioned that one a little bit too far back, but it's fine. Uh, we have a bot there to load everything, so we're all good to go. I also went ahead and got all the materials for the quarry already, so we already got that all taken care of. Now we need to worry about all of the materials for the main storage, and you may have seen it in the thumbnail, maybe I didn't include it, but this thing is definitely a bit much. So if I just type in here, you can kind of guess what we'll be doing. So yeah, this one has a lot of blocks, over 300,000 blocks. Uh, let's compare it to a different castle that we have that's been going on for quite a while. That one only has 200,000 blocks. So yeah, this one's going to take an extremely long amount of time to complete, but it's definitely worth it. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. So concrete, blackstone, all that stuff, that's really easy to do. That's not a big deal. These quartz stairs that are just kind of annoying because we usually use a lot of our quartz for observers and comparators and things like that, so we don't really like to use it for blocks themselves. But uh, we have the barter farm running right now just to see, but that shouldn't take too long. I mean, 10 shulker boxes of stairs is quite a bit of blocks, but 
over all the slabs and everything else will be really easy to get. So yeah, if you didn't have a concrete duper or barter farm, do the blackstone and the concrete will probably be the hardest thing for you. Since there's just so much of it, but uh, yeah, so it's kind of just time to leave these guys going and we'll check back in probably within a few hours to see these are all good. Um, but running at the same speed, the front one's always going to be quite a bit of ways in front, so we shouldn't have any issues with that. I covered up the uh, end gateway, that way nothing goes through and I'm not going to break anything like that, so uh, we'll be chilling. I kind of want to get an Enderman switch because these guys are really annoying, um, but it's kind of difficult to do in the end because you can't just chunk load it and you can't really trap withers very easily. Uh, with bedrock, this formation won't work to trap them, um, but we'll see what we can come up with. They're really annoying. I mean, they definitely will be, but uh, yeah, I'm going to fly back to the main end audience. I can't go through that gateway, and we have the bot in there all loading it up. Barter farm is also running because we need that stuff, like I said. Uh, yeah, some people are kind of some people are kind of worried about doing this, but for me, look at the Y level. You'll be chilling, and right there you can see your end island. I don't think this is ever covered. In the video this may have been um but our end island is completely empty and pillars and all all 20 gateways around the uh area here and that's our spawn platform with our 180k i think concrete duper using the exit portal here so it's not like we can actually put any withers here because uh, there's would be a lot of blocks being broken for sure and they would die anyway in the bedrock so can't really do that all too easily, unfortunately. But yeah, that's the one that's going to be for the end uh, stone quarry. That one is for our Voyager Trading Hall, and that one is for our Wither Rose area, which I think I want to redo at some point to make it sort of a permanent thing and not just a temporary looking uh, thing. But everything's all spawn proofed here. I think that that blocks, those blocks up there are spawn proof. Maybe not, but I did want to get the spawn proof because it's kind of annoying because it's the only blocks they can spawn on, so there'll be a lot of Endermen there. So yeah, let's go continue getting the materials for the uh, castle, and then we'll start working on the actual quarry, get that all up and running. All right, so one thing I did say we were going to do is make a end switch possibly, and that is what I have right here. Currently being, uh, you know, supplied with them over here. So yeah, that's what those mine carts do on this side because getting the ones that are excess from this. This one's bringing it back. This one is by ending credits and usually just has two of these on each side to put all of them there. Then obviously have a, sh a shulker box. I would say have a, a chest output at the bottom there, but with this, uh, I need to have them actually, you know, move into a space over here. So that's what these guys are doing right now. So we have them all over here. Uh, this is going to be our area that I'm going to load with everything once that all gets up there. Don't know how many I'm going to get. I'm going to try to fill the full thing up. I mean, I don't know how it's going to work entirely since um i don't know how far they're gonna go i mean they should go pretty far so we'll let them run for a little bit and that way we have enough for at least maybe say like three or four people i don't know entirely you know i'm gonna have too much uh here so when, once this is all done these guys obviously won't be able to go anywhere so we don't gotta worry about that i added a couple end rods because i did see a couple endermen spawning throughout here and i don't know why some of them are shooting outside of it but uh, for all now, it seems to be working, so yeah, very simple farm, uh, slightly modified it just to get rid of the other track and make it loop around like this. Uh, I think the smarter way, if you didn't want to take it from this, you could do, you could also just place it over here and modify this rail track a little bit, but to not modify that, I kind of just dropped it down, uh, and tuck it around. That way, so basically every time this guy falls down, he will take one from there, so when it starts up, for its first time, it's not the most ideal thing to do because you kind of need those guys in there to start building up some more shulker boxes. But um, for now, we're all good to go. Yeah, some of these ones, I don't understand where they're coming from, but the farm's still working, so I guess it's not too much to worry about for now. 
I say farm, kind of just like a creation of a uh, mob switch in the end because we can't really use withers all too reliably. So I'm kind of just getting these guys over here situated. And then I think over there I was working on, you can't really see anything, but uh, I was working on a glass platform that way we can place a bot that's not loading any of this or loading the farm. Um, I'm hoping that when we do that, uh, we can just have that because we don't want to run this have this run endlessly so at some point i'm gonna stop and i don't know if i'm gonna just break the minecart on the cycle inside that way it doesn't keep bringing over anymore uh it'll probably be the easiest way for me to pause it since there is technically an on off switch but there's so many shulkers here it's gonna endlessly go so the only on off switch then at that point would be to just unload it but i'll break that minecart that way it's not cycling and bringing over any more and more get this going i have a uh, guy over there still clearing out all that extra space for the quarry so once we get done with this we'll be done with that and then everything is good to go just got to figure out where i can lazy load most of these guys at least i didn't chunk online this that would have been the smarter thing to do but you know it's not that many on this block so here so it's fine that these ones aren't lazy loaded and these ones are lazy loaded so we'll figure out the distance for that that's needed and then hopefully we're all good to go from there to have a peaceful uh nether experience all right so the floor quarry is built up ice line and all the shulker box letter is right there and even have the storage silo inside of the castle uh, all built up that way it's basically ready to go uh but yeah this is all good uh it's one with a simple box display as well as accessible this is roughly about 10 million uh give or take a little bit with the back end there but uh yeah all the stuff is all looked up we got some obviously these compares aren't the best thing to look at but once there's a shulker box there uh it will all make sense uh in the end so uh, yeah, 6x loaders right there by Phil, uh, Phil Goodinator. So we got all that stuff already. I just have this stuff sit in here uh, just in case I need to extend the ice line a little bit. Uh, I think I did do at least a thousand blocks so far. I did the ice path for a full shulker box of ice. So that's roughly 1700 blocks. I don't know if we're going to go that far, but you know, might as well have at least that in mind that way you can always extend that we'll have to do this another shulker box litter in uh, probably like a thousand blocks or so down anyway so uh we'll think about that later and we'll probably have to do something different with the batching of the shulker boxes since this won't be loaded uh, the whole time here but you can tell there's no end bend. we have the end switch going on as well which is pretty nice up to like i think three or four players uh, depending on what's if any end cities are loaded and things like that so that's really good overall this quarry was pretty decent to build up but the, i think the only annoying part is this top bit right here because this is a butted piston on top of a redstone block that's the only one that updates if you update that one yeah it's not a fun time uh so i built basically built that stuff first and then built around it that way i don't have to worry about updating anything along those lines this observer and then the butted piston up there so once you place that piston on the last layer it'll update that and then the grabbers can set down basically so not a fun time if you're not paying attention but overall pretty easy to build i think i built this thing up in about six hours myself for a 252 i think the block grabbers are wide so it needs to be increments of i think 36 is what the quarry's tile ability is so uh yeah everything's all built up ready to go i think we have the correct spacing in the front here for the first blocks and stuff so i think we're all good yeah i think we got yeah we got one extra space to work with so we shouldn't have any issues with something getting stuck on there so you position it perfectly which is good <laughs> always a good thing to know that you're not going to run into an issue there of course before we launch it we will be making a backup but uh, yeah, this castle outline here, oh, we're in rid of the first layer, so that's kind of like the baseline of what the castle will look like footprint-wise. Of course, it's not the full length of the actual selection box. Some bits stick out further and everything like that, so 
that's sort of the outline I'm doing right now to get the, the baseline of what actually it's going to look like. But once we get that first layer, uh, it's all just going up and up from there. And each layer will have most of the time less blocks than the one previously until we go all the way up. You can see how high it goes. That's only for the front bits where those two uh, buyers go up high. Mainly this is because it's like gothic style, so the front pillars are very exaggerated to fit that style, so those will be really high. That's the only reason why it's that high, but this castle is roughly 300,000 blocks uh, to build, so it's going to be one of our largest ones and ever, but it does look the best in my opinion, and you'll probably see the deadline. I probably won't include this in the thumbnail since it's going to take up so much space. Uh, it's probably just be the core that I have here, so yeah almost ready to launch it i'm just going to build up a little bit more wait for some other people to get online that way we can actually launch it as a server together and otherwise we can do like that if you didn't notice i made this uh, sort of water stream as you know as non-noticeable as possible i included no ice that way we can just flush it under and hopefully it's not really noticeable especially in the void you can kind of see uh it's really hard to spot that on the right there especially with youtube's compression you're not going to see that all too easily and it kind of just like blends in with the area which is ideal can't really do that all too much with the actual ice path there so i just went all black dice but that's not that big of a deal so yeah i'm gonna get back with building on this castle here since we got so many blocks to place and you're probably wondering where all the items are i have them all shadowed basically besides i think the glass panes and something in here the anvils and the end rods uh Everything is all shadowed, that way it's really easy to just go on and build this, so I don't gotta worry about uh, not having stuff in my inventory or this and that, so we're all good to go on that front. This is all the different types of blocks. Mainly it's a lot of blackstone, black concrete, uh, and I think a bit of quartz stairs. I think it was like 12,000 quartz stairs, which is kind of a bit much, but we got it done in the end. So yeah, enough rambling. We'll be back with hopefully a time lapse of the actual quarry running because it would be really cool to watch that happen.
Alright, so most of you have probably have never seen where our actual end portal is, and if you can tell by the area, it's very terrible. Uh, plenty of ocean. This used to be all ocean where I just was for the most part, so it's a little bit of the beach right here. You can kind of see where the land uh, used to be. So basically what I just finished up here is two of the 11 block wide uh, smooth trenchers by uh, block there. So this sort of just gave us enough space for the main trench for an area we're be doing. So yeah, that right there inside of that obsidian portal, or that obsidian box right there, is our actual end portal. And there is no portal frames around it. It's just the portal since it was used in the past for a concrete duper. So our portal to get into this was right here. I did obviously when running the trencher that will break the portal there. So can't really access, so I can technically. I don't gotta worry about that. I can just like relight that and it'll be fine to at least go back and forth if I need to. But I have all the materials over here. I might need to get more anvils as you can see. Uh, this anvil wall kind of got destroyed, but this one worked pretty well. I guess that's because uh, it was in water compared to this one, which is all land. Because this one went pretty much all the way down to the bottom by itself. But uh, yeah, yeah, if you can guess what we're doing with the anvil walls... We are going to be doing a world eater here. And it's mainly because of all this ocean. I don't want to be draining out all this ocean uh, manually. So I said, eh, might as well. Let's do it. Let's do something a little bit different than the three-way uh, normal dupers that we've used for the circle in the past. Let's do an actual world eater that can be used for this. Now, as you can see, it's not going to be perfect uh, with the clearing of the liquids and such. Uh, because, you know, the sweepers don't go all the way to the end. It's not that big of a deal. This side doesn't really have that much there anyway, or actually has literally none, at least on this side here. So we don't got to worry about that all too much. So maybe a little bit in there if we need to, and a little bit over here, barely. But yeah, so the, the annoying part having to do this will be having to dig the stuff on the edges here to fit it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this, so it's too wide, that way I can just walk through it. Uh, I think that'll be the best course of action for me to take, for this to actually work in somewhat of a decent way. I'll put a beacon in the center, that way we can obviously get haste too, which will make it a lot easier. That's why I did the main center trench first, that way the place in the beacon is a whole heck of a lot easier. I'll probably build the world eater up, because it's not going to take that long at all. I think it's like barely like... Two or three shulker boxes of materials, so one slime, that, a little bit of that, and a minecart. And this is for the trenchers that I use, so I'm going to worry about anything in there. Uh, so yeah, it's really not that bad. Sponges I use for clearing out the ocean bits in the main trench here. Now that's all the way down to the bottom. We can continue with that. So I'm going to continue to place the straight line of anvil walls over here real quick. That way I know what exactly I need to clear out and then I'll use this right here and probably a layer like up here that way I can go around and also I'm um, probably going to go around like this and just mark it out like this that way I know exactly uh, to place the anvils against that and that way there's no water so I'll probably have to go like this too unfortunately so I have to drain out some more water on the edge here but overall it's not going to be that bad yeah, it'll be a lot better than draining it out all manually too, and we also in the end get this cool circle pattern. So the only other annoying part with the road eater, since it does have an AND gate at the bottom, and we're going to have to not be able to use the sweepers for a few layers with this end portal in the center, uh, we're going to have to figure that out, what we need to do. But luckily for us, there's really not all too much stuff in the way for this. So there's no liquids on this side, which is good. Maybe that one little water thing there in the stronghold. But on this side, there will be a little bit of, unfortunately, uh, water will have to drain manually as that sweeper is not going to be able to be used while we cross that. So we're doing, something, we're doing a project in the end. I said might as well do something in the overall to make this a little bit better than just the white and black concrete box that we had here originally. Let's do a little bit special and come up with something for decoration wise. That way it's not just, you know, like a normal end portal basically. So yeah, kick on with this. We'll be back once we're 
ready to go. Maybe a time lapse of the world eater actually running because I have to basically babysit it since it's overall not going to get everything. It's not perfect, but it's definitely still a huge help than doing it all manually. All right, it's a bit of time has passed and the area has been fully figured out as well as decorated. So I love how this thing turned out. It was very annoying to use. Uh, so I'll never use that thing again, but it was nice to use this as a one-off thing. But yeah, we have it fully decorated in the autocraft color scheme here, the black, orange, yellow. And we have the AC logo on the floor here. So we got the end portal all done and dusted with decoration. Definitely a lot better than it was previously, that's for sure, but was one heck of a grind to sort of do this with a road eater rather than just mainly mining and out, but with it being an ocean, I wanted to give something different a go because I don't like draining liquids and you guys probably don't either, uh, so I wanted to give that a go and it was overall not too bad. The anvil walls was the most annoying thing, I would say. Now we're going to head over to the end here where we have our portal, which is all would have cleared out we had this before when we had the old uh concrete duper with this but go into here have our cleared end once again and if we head over here i have been sort of working on this today as well as alex and we have quite a bit of stuff here uh it's kind of annoying that the end gateway puts you at the highest possible block so you do kind of the drop down and there's really no way around that with how we have the castle positioned I would have to make an 11 by 11 hole throughout the whole thing to do so. And that's really not ideal because it's going to be a huge hole in the roof. So what I did is I just put this glass here. That way when you come through here, you're going to just jump down and land on this slime block that's sort of covered. That way it's kind of not too noticeable, but still kind of is, you know. But uh, yeah, we have the castle. Quite a bit of stuff has been done here. We're in the final 30% of the castle still, so it is one big behemoth, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, everything's going super, super well here. Um, you know, stuff is looking pretty crazy to think about. But uh, yeah, everything's over here. We got our endstone all over here. A little bit shy of. 4 million, I think it's like 3.5 million total endstone so far. Uh, yeah, about 3.5 million endstone with the quarry only going the, I think, 1,500 blocks ish. Uh, this ice line right here is a full shulker box of packed ice. And we didn't go all the way to the end, so roughly about 1,500 blocks, I think. I could run it for a little bit extra here. Don't think it's too worth it as of right now. Because we're never going to even use a lot, any of this to begin with, so. But, uh, yeah, this thing is amazing. The castle looks amazing. This project in and of itself is something I've never done before, so it was quite cool to experience a quarry in the end. Because we all know that gathering endstone is going to be a huge pain. With this quarry that is super easy to build and run, there's no side trenches there's no bottom trench there's no top trench nothing you just build the quarry and run it so as long as there's no end cities that's the only maintenance you need to do it deals with all of the chorus fruits itself and then you detach the ice line which is really a just repeated pattern every eight blocks all the way down to your storage you would usually make this every a thousand blocks, usually that shulker uh, box loader area, but it'll work for the 2000 blocks that we were going to go originally. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty crazy to watch run as well. I did have a little bit of a time lapse there, uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. But yeah, I'm going to uh, go and finish the castle here. Hopefully a couple of the members will help out. Got a little bit of Alex and Ozo have been the main grinders of this castle very recently. So I'm going to try to get this thing done. Let's see what the percentage is. I think it was around about 30% left, but maybe some more has been done since then. But I'm hoping to get this thing done this week. Um, that would be pretty ideal to have it done that way. It could be voted on in the discord by you guys if you aren't aware uh i do have a poll each and every other week to 
for you guys to vote on which project you'd like to see on the YouTube first of the completed projects. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's how kind of the videos come out now. Uh, any sort of stuff there. So yeah, if you wanted to have your voice heard on what project gets built or gets uh, sort of shown next on the YouTube, be sure to join the Discord and join the poll pin. That way you get pinged when everything is sort of questioned there. 32%. So I was probably about 35% roughly last time. So 32% of the 312 total, 312,000 blocks. Still quite a bit. Still 100,000 blocks to go, but a huge majority of it is done, which is that back half. Um, once we get to the towers in the front, it will be very, very easy to go through. But yeah, still quite a bit of stuff to go until that does happen. But uh, yeah, we get back to work with thanks to shadow items here. I can very easily get a bunch of this done and not have to worry about a lot of it. So we can just grab everything out of here. Two items are not shadowed just because of the fact there's not like there's only like two or three stacks like the pains and anvils and end rods they're in here just because uh you know there's really not much of them to it so there's not really worth it to have its own shadow stack because it would run out very quickly especially if multiple people working on it it's really only good on large scale items where you have a lot of one material type otherwise you can keep going back and forth different items and stuff but uh yeah Get back to work here, work on this next section on the side here. Got a bit more paints to build, so I'll get to work on that. Grab these from here right now. That way I can continue with this window here, but yeah, we'll be back once this thing is fully done and dusted. All right, so the full end stone castle is completed, unfortunately. We do get teleported on the top, but I have this little drop chute here. And if you aim it perfectly, you land on top of a slime block so you take no fall damage. But uh, yeah, the full castle is completed here. I'm going to throw shaders on it because it looks absolutely amazing with these and the sea lantern and everything. Even without camera override, it is very bright in here thanks to those sea lanterns, even without shaders. But uh, yeah, everything is all completed, all 300 thousand blocks have been placed for this castle alone and it does look amazing so definitely happy with how this area looks for sure took way too long to build um but overall it's just so clean and it just fits the theme of this server with massive projects for no reason whatsoever as you can tell there is no reason to have this giant castle for that little storage in the background just to store our end stone but how does it look good and especially on the outside with these shaders we it just it's just amazing and even on the map pov you can even still see so much detail with this castle entirely but yeah this back side over here is probably my favorite view just because there's so much detail in this back side and the glass the carpets was a nice addition to throw on top of that for sure blends the purple of the glass perfectly we have obviously a lot of the black concrete black stone uh you know, polished and even the uh what's it called the bricks here we do have the black nether brick, so that does make this look a little bit better. I believe it still looks pretty decent even without that texture pack with vanilla tweaks. Uh, obviously, it's a bit of a different shade, but it could still work. I believe so. It's not too much of a difference, but it's noticeable. And then all the ports, obviously, do uh, accent the darkness of the, uh, the black concrete and everything. Works very well together. And... The gothic style of this castle overall just fits this theme of the Enderman perfectly too. And of course there are some hoppers and everything in this thing, so lots of unlocked hoppers. Doesn't really matter with me have lithium on the server, but it is a pretty weird thing to have, but it, I, can, I can definitely see why because of the way 
that it does look with it and everything together. So yeah, overall this project has been a fun one yet a challenging one to complete everything there. So yeah, it definitely has been something of that's for sure. And we have plenty of endstone from this project. Thanks to the quarry that we will go see a very quickly that has been traveling 15 or 1,500 blocks roughly. So almost close to a full chest or a full shulker of items for that ice path there. So that's how I was easy to, easily able to keep track of it. So yeah, the smooth walls that it leaves over and not needing to do any trenches on the side. Uh, and it's really nice for this because you basically just run it indefinitely. So 40, and you, who would have thought that a quarry in the end where there's no liquids or anything like that that naturally generate would be so easy. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely a nice thing there. And we'll never need endstone ever again. If we ever get close to that, uh, then we have a personal issue if we get anywhere near that amount. But yeah, the quarry looks amazing. Really lag efficient, so uh, definitely link down in the description below to avoiding the creator of the quarry. Uh, that way you can go get this if you want to do it yourself and show them some support. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this episode here. Uh, a very, you know, sort of technical but also decorative uh, style video as well. But uh, yeah, would I ever make this quarry again? Probably not. It was still pretty easy to make, but still kind of annoying. Uh, overall, you know, we could just always extend this further, the ice path, and then we just run that further and further, and we can just do that easily rather than having to build a whole new quarry. So there really would be no point to maybe build it again. You can always just run this indefinitely, basically, as long as you have, you know, chunk loading for that. And you just need to build another one of these shulker box loader stations uh, probably every 1500 blocks or so. Uh, that way you're you know storing all of the end stone that's for sure but uh, yeah if everyone is something in the end we have a huge area where there's no end stone not really enough to do much with but you know one last look at the castle here and then we will end it off so make sure you like subscribe all of those sorts of things and i will see you all in the next one